Hello, can you hear me? We were too late. The vault has been destroyed. The alchemical furnace with it. This was their true objective, to deny us entry into the void. Kanyatso and Ajdaya's eye were a diversion. A means to detain us in Garlemald, while they went to work here. To reduce the vault to rubble. That which you hunt is no ordinary foe. Have care. Such an exquisite sight. The canvas of vibrant colors. As was our world, too, once. I am Rubicante, the Archfiend of Fire. A monster in flesh, yet in spirit I remain a man, a prisoner of the past. Such tears I wept when darkness consumed the world, until Lord Golbez came and spoke of salvation. Thus do I walk proudly at his side to see his dream fulfilled. Hmm. Your heart is pure. For benevolent cause you seek the dragon. But I cannot allow you to have it. Cannot allow you to interfere. If you would continue, then there is but one recourse. I shall await you at the summit. Come, mortal. Come and weigh your righteousness against mine.
will rip. It seems I was a step too slow. <sighs> to defeat all of us Archfiends, you are strong indeed. You would know my lord's true purpose. Very well. The knowledge will not change the outcome. Listen then, and learn how all began. Since the world was undone. Since light and life gave way to darkness and undeath. Since we were reduced to beasts befouled, squabbling over what scant ether remains. But you are different. You remember who you were and the paradise for which you fought. That world will never be ours again. But we need not suffer in this purgatory of death and rebirth forever. Join me, and together we shall seek the promised land. There is no hope. No freedom from the wheel. You speak a fantasy. I speak truth. The Asians' revelation. There are other worlds than this. Ours is but one of fourteen. There is no greater proof than the whispers we hear, born of a neighboring reality. A reality to which we may journey, if we can but break down the barrier that divides us. You meant it then. We will take this world as our own. 
<laughs> Help me! In return for your strength, I offer you opportunity to pursue your own ends in service to a greater cause. A glorious kingdom of light, wherein all may know death's sweet embrace. And thus did we begin our great work. You intend to forsake the Thirteenth and conquer the Source? Just so. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. You served Golbez of your own volition. As atonement for my failures, I tried to be a hero. Tried to stop the war. But I could not. So in turn you wage another? A means to a final end. The wheel of depravity must be broken. Even the most exalted succumb. We eat and eat and deepen the stain upon our souls until only the hunger remains. Is this to be our fate for all eternity? I don't know. About this and a great many things. But I do know that it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. Not everything need be a trade. This I learned from the people of this world. Even without a contract, without any expectation of personal gain, they labor for one another. I didn't understand it at first, and perhaps I still don't. But if I'm to achieve something, I'd rather do it their way. Else I'm already a hunger-maddened beast. <laughs> Perhaps we have indeed surrendered to the hunger after a fashion. Make for our moon. There you will find both Lord Golbez and your dragon. To be so viciously slandered. Pride demands I prove my virtue at the last. And perhaps your own will resonate with his, and draw forth that singular jewel which abides deep within his heart. A desire which lies beyond his quest to free us from our purgatory. A desire all his own.
Thank goodness you're both all right. Unfortunately, we have nothing further to report apart from the loss of the gate. But tell us, how did you fare on the mountain? Golbez aspires to deliver Void Scent unto the Source. Where they may die and return to the life stream to be reborn. Far be it for me to deny them, but the cost to our people would be beyond unconscionable. Indeed. Void Scent themselves are inherently dangerous. Never mind the chaos sure to follow should the barrier twixt our worlds be shattered. It would be naught less than a calamity. Certainly not. That said, our task has been rendered rather difficult. Indeed. Rubicante has deprived us of a means to cross into the void. Kenyatso's faint. That was doubtless what he meant when he said his part was done. Golbez sacrificed two archfiends just to stop us. He must need more time to break the barrier to our world. Then the days ahead will be critical. We must find a way back to the 13th. We could employ another Atomos, but that approach would only be viable if we found another planar fissure. An unlikely prospect. Better we explore other avenues. If you will excuse my absence, I shall return to Charlian to look for information. By all means. Meanwhile, I shall seek the counsel of our alchemists. Time is of the essence, so wish me luck. I'm no scholar. I'll find another way to keep myself busy here. Rest assured, I never shirk my training. I will be ready for whatever awaits. Zero. May we call upon thee when next we venture unto the 13th. Aye. And in case you're wondering, I won't ask for further payment. I will go for myself, to try and understand why I spoke the words I said to Rubicante. And the fire I felt within, when you all came to my aid in Galamold. While our esteemed sorceress battles her tomes, let us see to our own affairs.
Nyatso and Rubicante have joined with the Great Flow. In this world, tis the ravenous who are useful, and few were as ravenous as they. You were fine pawns, my archfiends, and you have played your parts to perfection. But with the goal in sight, I need no minions to do my bidding. Here on, I shall walk alone. At long, long last, the end draws nigh. The end to life on that star, and the end to my suffering.